Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Widgets and Wonders. This is my show about great products from small companies. Now today we're taking a look at another set of widgets from Schooner Labs, um, homegrown Canadian uh, accessory company doing MDF and laser cutting. Uh, and this is going to be for the Elder Scrolls Call to Arms. So we got some cool hero dashboards, uh, some measuring widgets, and a cool sort of like priority tracker. Let's take a look at them right now. So here's the Elder Scroll Call to Arms accessories. We got some cool stuff here, um, and it's all been done with a lot of thought in mind. We have a um, sort of standard uh, half inch, three inch, two inch, one inch like precision measuring widget. We have a six and nine, uh, and this has actually been done with some thought because your standard advance typically is six, unless you're wearing heavy armor, then you can boost it for three to nine, uh, and then a two and three inch side in this as well, and a one inch engagement. So lots of cool stuff here. And then um, we have the priority marker, which if you haven't played Elder Scrolls Cold Arms, is also doubles as your scatter template. So you flip it and wherever the little arrow is pointing, it's honestly the best way to do scattering because there you go, because it's just totally random. <laughs> as long as you can uh, measure a straight line from there, it's perfect. And then we have two separate little dashboards. I like both of these. Um, this one uh, is sort of like a bigger of the two. They've done a nice wood grain. You can see they've, they've just got, mag I like that's the foos row down on the back here um, with the, the runes. But they're all done with magnets so that you have wheels. Um, so you can track your VP gain, but they also have a VP spent because you use your VPs to level up and occasionally do uh, other abilities in Elder Scrolls Cold Arms. So being able to track both on one dial is super handy. And then for each hero, you like you usually got a primary hero. You got one for health, stamina, magic, and voice. Um, so whatever they're they're doing uh, as far as like um, you know spending stamina to boost their powers, uh, how much damage they've taken, and of course their magic and voice will both refill. The voice fills up, the magic fills up. Um, and then you decline it, or sorry, um, drain it out when you use your powers. And there's just a smaller, more compact version. I think they're both equally good. Like, they do basically the same thing. Uh, this one's got the same VP game, VP lost, and then health, magic, stamina, and voice. I kind of like this one because the Elder Scroll Cold Arms cards, um, it, you've got your tabs for all your accessories coming off the sides, but you can put stuff on top. So I, I feel like this one's probably the one that. If I was gonna do um, delves like constantly, I'd want like three or four of these for each of my characters. Then I don't have to put the tokens everywhere. I can just track it with the little dashboards um, and uh, and just wheel everything. But you don't really need this more than once. I think maybe maybe if they just had one that was just these four things, it was just health, magic, stamina, and voice. Because you're you're really just gonna track the whole party's VPs on these. Um, on the on like the big one and then maybe your main character on the big one then having little guys to do all your sub characters I think would be handy as well. Just a thought. I mean, it's it's not like it's hurting anything It's just it's kind of extra to um, to the 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 requirements basically because that's that's being tracked as a group and everything else being tracked individually um, But if you're just gonna get one either of these are super handy for your primary character and then you can use shits for everything else Obviously your followers you don't need these for because they just take a point of damage and die um, Or whatever their health is and die. They don't they don't do um, a lot of sustained stuff uh, but your primary characters, like your big characters, you're gonna wanna have a couple of these. And it was super handy, I used them in the Delves in the last couple of missions, and they were great. So good job, Skinner Labs. I'll link everything below in the video description if you wanna check them out for yourself. So there you go, another great product from a small company. Now, if you uh, know of a product you think deserves more attention and you want to um, send them along, you can have them email me at grillministrygames at gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement into the streets, and I'll put it in front of as many people as possible. So we'll see you next time for more Witches and Wonders. Till then, I'm Ash. Apple gaming. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Deathbird Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, uh, big thanks to everyone past future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.